In a nutshell, your customers need data continuously and reliably. But eh, stuff happens. So let's take a look at how Couchbase has your back. Like a lot of things, it all starts with knowing your goals. What is your recovery point objective? So when something goes wrong, can your system tolerate data loss? Because, well, stuff happens. So you need to know what data loss, if any, can be allowed. Which also means, to what point must you recover? Zero loss? Or is there some measurable tolerance? And just as important, what is your recovery time objective? How much time do you have to get back online to your recovery point, with no more data loss than you've determined can be allowed? We're going to survey how Couchbase supports high availability, keeping your data alive and flowing, and how we support disaster recovery because stuff happens. First, we implement rack zone aware replication, so if stuff happens, your replicas are still alive, kicking, and ready for activation and rebalancing. We also provide cross data center replication, or XDCR for short, so you can keep entire data centers in sync for geolocation or other purposes. Our administrative processes, that'd be things like adding, removing, and failing over nodes, and so on, all happen with zero downtime. In fact, Failovers can be completely automated if you choose. And our SDKs include features to support resilient, reactive, asynchronous data access patterns that respond intelligently to timeouts when the client learns mm, stuff happened. For true disaster recovery, XDCR once again applies here. This feature lets you keep entire data centers with data as consistent as your network speed on hot standby ready for client switchover the moment disaster is detected. And of course, we also provide enterprise-grade backup and restoration tools for when the going gets truly heavy. So how do these features play out? Well, let's consider the possibilities. Let's say you lost a node. On failover of this node, a process you can fully automate if you choose, your replicas are activated and updated cluster maps are issued to all clients. You get a new node configured and added into the cluster, data is rebalanced across the cluster, and again, updated cluster maps go to all clients throughout. Your customer never knows anything happened. From their perspective, nothing did. Their data is continuously available. But sometimes it's worse than just a node. Maybe a whole physical rack or virtual zone goes down. Thanks to rack zone awareness, replicas are placed to ensure separation from their active record. So, when failover occurs, you know your replicas are available despite the problem and get activated right on cue. Updated cluster maps are sent, and once again you configure your repaired rack or zone, put it online, and data rebalances and replicas are recreated as needed with cluster maps regularly updating to account for any and all topology changes. Just as before, your customers never even know something went wrong. Everything can get worse though, right? Maybe your entire data center flooded in a hurricane. Of course, that never happens, but it happens. With resilient application design, meaning client code ready to reroute on timeout, Failed requests are re-executed against your hot standby data center, which is kept ready to roll and as consistent as your network speed. When your downed data center comes back online, two-way XDCR replication begins reloading it, potentially even faster than restoring a backup and dealing with downtime differentials. Your customers are still virtually unaffected. Okay, yes, there will be a slight delay, waiting for the timeout from the down data center and re-request to your hot standby, but that can be configured for as little as 5 milliseconds. Then of course, there's always Godzilla. Or to be accurate, we need to talk about Godzilla and Mothra simultaneously wiping out both your active and hot standby data centers, in which case our enterprise-grade backup and restore tooling can restore your data centers to any incremental backup point. 
Unfortunately, yes, in this particular scenario, your clients will actually notice that your entire data center system has been slagged. Godzilla and Mothra are like that. Hopefully, your customers understand. So what have we learned? To just say what you already know, well, we all need goals. These include recovery point and recovery time objectives, so you can assess which couch-based features to implement to meet them. Because we can. We support high availability and disaster recovery at all levels. With a single node loss, clients are unaffected. Same thing if you lose an entire rack or availability zone. Even if you lose an entire data center, the client impact can be measured in single-digit milliseconds. It takes simultaneous slagging of all your data centers to force you into restoring from backup. In the next lesson, we'll drill into these features a bit for better understanding. Come on back.